What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about um, having a plan for the upcoming 2019 year. Um, it's important to update anything and everything that is business related. Kind of go over your marketing and business plans. Go over uh, opportunities that you can uh, grow on. Get rid of things, profit centers that are not that profitable and go with the, the things that make you money. You don't want to spend all your time wasting uh, valuable resources that don't make you money. If it's not profitable, is there a way that you can increase the pricing and get it to be a profit? Or is it just time to get rid of it? So I kind of want to call this session, am I right or am I right? Uh, because there's a gentleman I, I listen to periodically. He's a really interesting character on the YouTube. His name's Gino Jennings. He's a minister, a very strong, opinionated uh, gentleman. And I, I think it's important when you have your game plan together and you got your stuff together and you're clear of thought, clear of mind, you don't have the emotional baggage uh, keeping you down, it's important that you are right that you're right about the stuff that you're doing to grow your business you can't be in a position where where you're, you're not growing your business you have to be growing your business all the time you didn't get in the business to lose money you got in the business to, to grow your business, to make money, to grow, 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 and, and pay your taxes on all the money you earn. So for my 2019 year, I'm going to review what I have, what I where I've made most of the money, and focus on that. As long as it's low, um, I guess, baseline cost. I guess that's what you call it and if it's too high and if it's not profitable and if it's not um, in the right area I, I'm gonna look at it and say hey how can I improve upon it and right now I don't have an aerator I rent an aerator so I'm most likely gonna go out there and um, buy an aerator save up and once I get an aerator, I'm going to be able to um, cut my overall price. Uh, my initial price to uh, aerate someone's yard is uh, slightly higher than my competitor because my competitor already has an aerator. So I could probably undercut his prices um, because... If I'm um, if half my cost is renting it, then on that initial use, let's say it costs me sixty to eighty dollars to rent an aerator, and I charge I I don't know a hundred a hundred and twenty dollars to do a yard. That means I can take it down to sixty to seventy dollars. And if my competitor is charging $80 on average, that means I can save my customers or at least win more customers because I'm not, I'm not um, renting anymore. So that's an area where I'm going to uh, grow my business more profitable. I'm gonna keep aeration. I'm gonna keep pretty much everything I have on my plate, but I'm looking to add as I'm uh, finishing up school uh, hopefully the schooling that I earn will allow me to um, do fertilizer without taking the test here in Virginia, D.C. and Maryland. Uh, maybe in Florida and one other state that I uh, go into. Um, I uh, plan to be a dreamer, but also be a planner. So I, I want to thank um, all the subscribers I have. I think today I hit 900 subscribers. And uh, 
if you have a plan and if you follow it and if you're honest and true to yourself I think you're gonna be right and you know you're gonna be right as Gino Jennings says am I right or am I right what a question that's a, a bold statement to say because if you, you're honest and all that with yourself you're gonna be right thanks again and if you like this uh, material like and subscribe and stay tuned for more uh, and interesting videos because I do listen to other YouTube channels and I will let you be aware of what I think is interesting and slightly weird yeah, like and subscribe stay tuned for more thank you